Uh, park your car and you block a whole bunch of semi trucks. Uh, yeah, my guy's gonna bring a forklift and uh oh, and he's going to move it. What's going on, mother truckers? Has a four wheeler ever blocked you? Because I know a lot of semi trucks block you, but has a four wheeler ever blocked you? Because in this situation right here, I couldn't believe it. I turned on my camera as soon as I saw it. I saw this car, it was blocking the fuel aisle for like a good 30, 40 minutes. I don't know if he was in there eating in the restaurant, you know, uh, whatever the heck he was in the bathroom or what, but this truck driver couldn't get out. And so this guy grabs the forklift and takes it into his own hands and moves the car. Now, was he wrong for that or was that car in the wrong? Because I've just never seen anyone pick up a car with a forklift like that and move it. I'm sure when that guy came out of the bathroom or restaurant or shower or whatever the hell he was doing, he was probably like, where the hell is my car? But, babe, what do you think? Should a car ever block the fuel aisle for semi-trucks? Mm, I'm just wondering where the ketchup is. <laughs> See, this is what happens. Uh, Four-wheelers, when you uh, park your car and you block a whole bunch of semi-trucks, uh, yeah, my guy's going to bring a forklift, and, uh oh and he's going to move it. <laughs> so, yeah. If you're wondering where your car is, sir, your car is going to be on the side of the road where it should be, uh, where the cars actually should be parking. Where your car is, your car will be right there, sir, and not blocking trucks, okay?